Health and Human Services Secretary Xavier Becerra and Representative Rick Larson met with local stakeholders and staff for an overdose prevention and substance abuse roundtable today at Providence Medical Center in Everett, Washington. COVID showed us how bad this could be. And now in this pandemic, with all the behavioral health issues that we're seeing pop up, with more than 100,000 Americans perishing from uh, drug addiction and, and now suicide as well, uh, it's a crisis. During the roundtable, Representative Larson made clear his commitment to addressing addiction and behavioral health in the state. No one here believes that our county jail should be the number one recovery um, center. No one here believes our county jail should be the number one mental health and behavioral health facility in the county. Addiction is not a moral failing. It's a disease requiring medical treatment. Same with behavioral health. Crystal Buckner, a patient of Providence Everett's detox program, who has been sober for six months, was invited to share her experience with fentanyl during today's roundtable. I used heroin for approximately six years. And when fentanyl became available, it was a natural progression of my disease. Fentanyl is, if you've never been through fentanyl withdrawal, you, it, it's, unima it's unimaginable. It's um, a million times worse than you could ever, ever think. Last August, I went into a coma from uh, withdrawal from benzodiazepines and fentanyl. I lost my vision, my ability to walk, and 40% of my memory, and I almost lost my life, and I knew that I needed to do something or I was gonna die. Yet each treatment provider I sought out turned me away. Uh, Providence didn't. I needed a medical detox and Providence was here when I needed it. And um, I think we can do better. To read the full story, visit linwoodtimes.com.